operates uh, three beam lines at the National Superfund Light Source as a result of a 30-year partnership between the Department of Commerce and the Department of Energy. These three beam lines are spectroscopy beam lines, and taken together, they cover the entire periodic table. That is, through tuning um, intense synchrotron light, we're able to access the entire periodic table of the elements in order to unravel structure function relationships for high technology materials, working with companies, um, government agencies, and other national labs. Before us, we have one of those beam lines. This one we refer to as a tender X-ray beam line, and it covers the energy range from about 1,000 EV up to about uh, seven and a half kilovolts. And it's particularly useful for uh, accessing elements like phosphorus, sodium, sulfur, uh, copper, nickel, and uh, others. And in particular, uh, silicon. Uh, and the use of the beam line is to uh, establish structure function relationships. And we use the synchrotron light to, to uh, probe the atoms of uh, uh, complex materials. And these materials um, need to determine their chemical structure. And the way uh, X-ray absorption does that is through the, uh, uh, through the promotion of uh, inner shell electrons into unoccupied states, which are called molecular orbitals. And these reveal the chemistry of materials. In order to sense that, that absorption, two methods are used, electron yield and fluorescence yield. The uh, Princeton Gamma Tech uh, seven element germanium detector, which you see over here, is particularly useful for using the fluorescence yield approach at um, probing X ray absorption in, in, in these important technological materials. The seven element detector allows us to have extremely good state of the art energy resolution and throughput. Both of these are important in order to be able to uh, run lots of samples and to also be able to discriminate between uh, the fluorescence lines of complex. Um, uh, complex materials that consist of many different elements. Um, and the detector uh, is um, operational today, and uh, we're very excited about the energy resolution that, that the detector has shown, and it truly is a world-class, state-of-the-art instrument. So the measure of the reset rates, uh, the connections between the oscilloscope, the uh, System 8000, and the preamp are as follows. It's coming closer there, and I can point it out. The, uh, Preamp output goes directly to the oscilloscope on channel one. We have a teed off going into the uh, amplifier input on the MCA or on the system 8000. We also have channel two hooked up to the amp output of the system 8000. Also, with both of these connections, we can look at the reset rate and the amp out will give us the ability to look at the Gaussian signal. Uh, right now, we don't actually have anything running in the chamber, so that signal is, uh, is pretty minimal. Once we get the beam up, we'll have a better signal to look at. Today, we're uh, checking the reset rates on all seven channels on the uh, multi-element array at Brookhaven National Labs. It was reinstalled yesterday. It's been sitting overnight. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that all the resets have settled down. The uh, bias supply and high voltage have been on all night long. So far, we've uh, looked at channel one and channel one is at 450 milliseconds. We'll be moving on to channel two now. Channel 2 is reading about 892 milliseconds. Okay. Moving on to channel 3.
Now freeze at 1.15 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, 600... 632 milliseconds. Three hundred and sixteen milliseconds to channel four. Seven hundred milliseconds. And I can get some more. This is a sample post on the Prokeo National Lab. Green dot, the center of fluorescence, uh, white paint is the X ray beam line. The MEA is behind the chamber with the closed gate valve. Gate valve is here. Pump out port for the bellows is here. There's the bellows. This is the uh, vacuum chamber for our system. The end cap is inside this bellows under vacuum right now. We're fully retracted out of the column with the gate valve closed for uh, preparation for the sample shortly. This is a motorized stage um, driven by a motor from the back, a stepper motor and controller configuration with an end stop on each end. We are measuring the resolution on the Prosperous 2KEV and the Sodium 1KEV line. The specification for Prosperous is 89EV. The specification for the Sodium is 79EV, full width half maximum.
the average result for the Prosperous is 89 EV, full width half maximum resolution, and on the Sodium is 70 EV, full width half maximum resolution.